Now, we all think that um, Alzheimer's is a brain problem that starts in the brain, right? It starts in the brain and then it develops in the brain and it's not connected to any other part. But I found some real interesting data that shows that Alzheimer's actually originates in your liver. The liver has a function of clearing out something called amyloid B plaques. And so the liver should normally clear this out so it doesn't spread into other parts of your body. But when the liver is compromised and it can't do that, whether you have a fatty liver, you have cirrhosis, you have inflammation, you have diabetes, you have metabolic syndrome, whatever, then the liver is gonna have a very, very hard time getting rid of that placking. And then it starts developing in the brain, but you, you won't have symptoms for roughly about 20 years. Then you start getting the dementia. So it's a process. And the problem is that a lot of times people are waiting until they get a symptom before they do anything about it. But I wanna emphasize this very, very important connection that you need to know about, especially if you wanna prevent Alzheimer's. So what can you do? Well, number one, take care of your liver, right? I have a lot of videos on this. I'll put some links down below. Very, very important. But let's say, for example, you're already starting to get dementia. You start going in a room and you can't quite remember why you went in there and you start losing your keys and you just start having memory loss. You're getting a little bit older and you're concerned. Um, what you need to do is start to support your liver immediately. Well, there's a couple things you can do. There's actually four really important things to do. And so these few articles down below cover these points. And I think it's actually quite fascinating. Bile salts. Uh, specifically uh, a type of biosalt called Tudka uh, has the ability to decrease amyloid placking and amyloid clearing in the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain that um, is involved with um, the relay to your database or, or remembering certain things, especially spatial memory. And by the way, if you go on a low fat diet, your bile salts dry up. Also, if you destroy your gut, um, you're not going to be able to make bile salts because your body makes secondary bile salts from the microbes in your gut. That's one of the reasons why there's a big connection between your gut and your brain. What's going on down here is affecting up here. Number two, vitamin D. And by the way, if you don't have bile salts or not enough bile salts, you're not going to be able to absorb vitamin D. So there's a big connection between vitamin D and clearing out amyloid placking. Also, vitamin D is very, very important in the liver, and the liver is part of the uh, process where the uh, vitamin D gets activated. It's also an organ that you help store vitamin D, but vitamin D is very, very important. All right, number three, silymarin. That's milk thistle. has the capacity to clear out amyloid placking. So if you're getting dementia or you have Alzheimer's, you should be taking all of these, including the next point, which is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting helps clear out the amyloid placking. Why? Because your body starts to perform autophagy, which is a recycling of proteins that you don't need. And you'd have to do at least 18 hours of fasting to get into autophagy, but very, very important if you want to clear out these proteins. All right. Thanks for watching.